Hey guys, I finally made it here to West Texas and praise the Lord I'm out here and if you're wondering why in the world this background is just insanely overexposed, it's because multiple reasons, but number one, I'm just so daggum hot and it's hot out here. So I'm filming underneath the bridge right now and this is pretty much going to be the film location. Sorry, you're going to have to deal with that white background, but I'm really excited to be out here and I was actually going to share with you guys some vintage footage back in 2006 of one of my first trips over here and just some of the things that I learned. I'll walk you guys through that trip. This was actually my second time going to West Texas back in 2006, and oh man, were we excited. Mainly just because we'd been there a year before, but it was actually with my mama. And that youthful looking dude with the long brown hair and the skinny arms, that fella was me. And I was pretty darn excited to catch my first ornate box turtle out there. But really what we had set out there for was the Mojave rattlesnake. And we actually bagged one the very first night that we were there. Uh, super pumped, praising the Lord about that because that was what we went there to see and we were shocked because we had heard stories of how aggressive they are and how they're very willing to defend themselves and uh, we, we found the opposite to be true. Now, they would defend themselves but they were definitely by no means aggressive and they would stand their ground and just watch us. Majority of them though would run and, but they were absolutely gorgeous. You can see this one right here just staring me down making sure I don't come up and you know do anything to risk getting a bite. Very nice snake. Who we roll up on? This one. Another dagger rattlesnake. Super exciting. Black tail rattlesnake, baby. New species. Don't lose them, Biggs. You can hear me kind of freaking out because this hold was on, my first on. West Texas oh black tail rattlesnake. Oh my gosh, a black tail rattlesnake. Oh man, is he pretty. Oh, also, I saw his black tail and I was like, Wow, know. is he pretty. I cannot believe that. He's a tech, he definitely an adult. Out. And the great thing about him is that they're so nice, and he He's set the, nice the resident for how they're going to be. Hey, little rattlesnake. That is beautiful. How you doing, buddy? Oh, my gosh, that's gorgeous, dude. Watch your hand. Such a sweet oh. rattlesnake. They're, they're known for being pretty right, well, placid, sure and he definitely set that mold, too. <laughs> Black tail, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is one of our snakes on the list. Three down, baby. That's Just a Christ. little bit more to go. <laughs> and it's only day two. Oh <laughs> We were so pumped, mainly just because the, the year we had gone there before, we didn't catch very much. I want to say we got one diamond back, a few other snakes, and that was it. And so it was really great to see this black tail, and we released her in a rock adjacent to her capture site, so that way she'd have a nice hiding place to go into after we filmed and photographed her. And she was just such an awesome snake. Again, such a blessing to get her. This was actually the biggest western diamondback rattlesnake that I've ever captured, and she was just a behemoth. You can see me trying to lift her with two arms, because uh, one arm just wasn't enough. She she needed the two arms because she was kind of tangled up in some brush too, which added to her weight. But you really get to appreciate her size once I actually put her out on the road. Now watch her kind of stretch out there. Oh man, she was huge. And I didn't realize how big she was until we actually got her out the next day and you'll get to see her a little bit later. Here was just such a, a nice easy lift into a bucket. I was very grateful for having a nice easy lift. <laughs> Golly! How big would you say that is, Ori? Probably easily four feet, dude. Look at his veins. Ori's veins are already five and a half Woo, foot. Oh, man. Golly. You would not believe how heavy that son of a gun is, dude. Oh, I bet. Right, that sucker was bucking, dude. Yeah, he was. He was bucking like no other. You gotta appreciate Yo. the rattle. Woo! Oh, my gosh, her rattle was loud. That's Now this is the best part, is I've captured quite my fair share of Western Diamondback rattlesnakes, but I've never had yeah, one stand really? up like this. And so watch her engage in her strike pose. Look at that pose, oh, big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that to me just, it screams Diamondback. When you think of a Diamondback, you think of this real just formidable snake who takes no, no junk from anyone. And that guy right there just stood there with so much just confidence. Yeah, that's awesome. like, saying all right you got me here if you want some come and get it but out of all the filming all the photographing that i did she never struck one single time she was uh, a sweetheart and stayed in that s for a solid long time and i uh, was very grateful to be able to uh, photograph her and film her and then release her on her way but she was a gorgeous gorgeous rattlesnake absolute monster i've never caught one bigger than that one this is actually my first glossy snake and i don't know if i have bad luck or what but Every glossy snake that I've ever caught has been kind of a booty head because they just bite and chew on me and strike like crazy, but they're still pretty snakes and definitely always a nice snake to see out in West Texas. 
And this was my first long nose snake, and they're gorgeous snakes as well. They got that red, yellow, and black color. And they're known for feigning death and actually looking pretty lethargic when you catch them, but I've never had that happen. They've all been <laughs> sweethearts. That's a PB sandwich. We've been living off of these for like the past 10 years. I put this in here because it's my favorite food. And I still love peanut butter <laughs> sandwiches. We then ended the trip in Valverde County and that's where I caught actually my first white lepidus, a model rock rattlesnake. And oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. Loved her. And uh, the last snake of my trip was the most beautiful black tail rattlesnake that I've ever captured. The colors on this girl were just so vivid. The, the black crown on that thing was unsurpassed by any of the ones I've ever captured. One of the biggest things that I learned is a real humbling experience with a gentleman at a steak restaurant in Hudspeth County. Now we were running low on funds. Now we had two decisions. We could have either gone out to Valverde County and looked for Mottlebrock rattlesnakes, or we could have spent our remaining money on a steak dinner. And honestly, we didn't have the money for the Valverde County trip. So it was one of those things of, we decided to go enjoy steak, because if you know anything about me, you know, I love steak. And so I started going over there to the state restaurant and there was no one in there. But then lo and behold, this one guy walks in because this is a town of pretty much no one. One guy walks in and immediately I'm thinking, this guy needs to learn about snakes. So I go over and sit next to him and I start showing him pictures on the computer of many of the snakes that I caught. And um, then he starts talking to me about why he's traveling. He let me know that he was terminally ill. He was given a year to live and uh, he was just traveling around the United States on his uh, last year to live. And so immediately, you guys know I'm a Christian, so I was like, oh my gosh, does this guy know Jesus Christ? Because I want to make sure he goes to heaven and gets to revel in the glory of God, um, same as I will. And so I wanted to talk to him about Jesus. So I asked him, I was like, do you know Jesus? And he said uh, he did. And so luckily it made sharing the gospels all the more easy. And uh, me and him talked about God, talked about the wonders of his creation. And I made a new friend that day. It was really, really great getting to talk to this gentleman. Very, very nice guy. And I think he left being a newfound uh, having a newfound appreciation of snakes too. And so we snake hunted that night and when we went to check out the next day, we went to pay for our hotel and the guy told us our hotel room was paid for and he gave us all the cash back. It was like 800 bucks in cash. And I was like, oh my gosh, who did this? And he told us the guy's name and lo and behold, it was the gentleman from the steak restaurant. And that was just one of the, <laughs> the most kind things that I've ever had happen to me. Like this gentleman just went above and beyond and, and was just sharing a blessing and so that's one of my advices for you guys is if you can wake up every single day and try and live your life like this gentleman and we all know who he was mirroring his life after he was trying to be like jesus christ because you got to remember jesus christ he did not come to earth to be served he came to earth to serve us he actually was our sacrifice for our sins and this guy was living exactly as you should be living too and that mindset of how can i make someone else's day better how can i share the love of god with someone else and People always think, well, it's exhausting trying to bless others, but that's just because you truly haven't given yourself to other people. Because whenever you do put your mindset and put your heart into all the blessings to other people, you in turn just feel so blessed. You in turn feel closer to God because you are just showing everyone His love. Because whenever they see you doing that stuff uh, and all these kind deeds, they don't see you doing it. They see God working through you. And so that's one of the biggest advices that I have for you guys is go out there and just love one another. Go out there and just share love with other people. Try and make someone else's day better. And I'm gonna try and make y'all's better by sharing this, this trip with you guys. So I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna start snake hunting tonight and we'll see what we can get a hold of. There's several snakes that I would absolutely love to catch and we'll see what all we can show you guys. And I hope you guys have a fun time with me on this snake hunting trip. God bless and hope you guys enjoy this film.